from WFRB TV Local 5. This is High School Sports Extra, sponsored by Nicolay National Bank, with your host, Brian Roday. Hello, everyone, and welcome into High School Sports Extra, presented by Nicolay National Bank. Tonight, we'll tab our Team of the Week, count down the Local 5 Top 5 plays, feature an exceptional student athlete, plus the prep spotlight shines on the undefeated Hortonville boys basketball team, as head coach Matt Hintz joins me right here in studio later on. But we tip things off with our Game of the Week. Johnson. The top two teams in the Northeastern Conference and two of the top three ranked squads in all of Division Three collided as Freedom welcomed in Wrightstown. Early first half, Bridget Frolke hits the deck and loses the ball. Kelly Genke comes away with the steal and she slices between defenders for the lay-in. Irish up by four. The Green Bay Phoenix recruit would be in foul trouble all night, but here she goes again with the left hand. Genke finished with 11 on the evening. Writes down digging out of the early deficit as Frolke starts feeling it from downtown. That three puts the Tigers ahead by two. A little later, some quick passing finds the UMKC recruit who connects on the contested triple. That put Frolke over the 1,000 point mark for her career, and that deserves a hug from head coach and dad, Mike Frolke. Tigers running the floor now. Check out the pass from Leah Lemke to Megan Rhea. Down low for two. Then off the inbounds pass, Rhea to Frolke for three of her 17 first half points. Tigers up 26-20 with five minutes left in the half. But Freedom goes on a run late in the first, ending with this. Frolke off the mark this time. Gabby Johnson gets the board, pushes it ahead, and passes to Carly Peters, who beats the buzzer to give the home team a 33-30 lead at the break. They carry that momentum into the second half. Kennedy Craning finds Carissa Worcester. Freedom goes up by seven. Wrightstown's Ella Dinney came in averaging 30 points per game, and you can see how with that move she finished with 15. Freedom coming up with a lot of 50-50 balls in this one. Off the miss, Johnson hustles for her own rebound and dishes to Haley Weinberg, who goes into the paint for the easy bucket. Freedom by five. Tigers clawing their way back in, though. Frolke with the steal. She flies up the floor, and she's always got the green light for good reason. Wrightstown within three. Then with less than two minutes to play, Frolke along the baseline with the fadeaway J. Tigers cut it to two. Then they get the steal off the ensuing inbounds pass. And who else? Frolke picks it up and puts it in. She finished with a game-high 31, and we head to overtime, tied at 57. Freedom made five free throws in the extra frame, including four by Johnson, who led the Irish with 18 points. So here we go, Freedom up by two with less than 10 seconds left. Wrightstown gets two shots at it, Denny can't get it to go. Neither can Tatum Moreau on the follow-up. And second-ranked Freedom holds on to defeat number three, Wrightstown, 62-58. Toward the end of the first half when we went on a run, we, we were down in our bench aways. We were 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And those girls put us in a position to build a lead. And we had, we had to do that because of our, our foul trouble. We've been talking to the girls all year about our, our depth um, and being able to run a, a lot of different combinations out there. And, and it certainly paid off tonight. It's huge because it's really tough to win at, at Wrightstown. Um, so getting this first one's a big one. It was nice to be able to get it done at home. Puts us in a better position. All right, still ahead on High School Sports Extra, Matt Hintz, head coach of the 6-0 Hortonville boys basketball team, joins me right here in studio. But first, Local 5's Eric Boynton heads to the ice to bring you this week's exceptional student-athlete report. So strap on the skates because we have that coming up next on High School Sports Extra.